Prescott Van Meyer III, Selma Gain from Home. Today's special episode, Utz's Pub Mix. Utz's. Utz's? Utes? We had two of them. Would it be two Utes? Hey. That's a When Harry Met Sally reference. Or some other movie. Leave it in the comments. So, how did I get my hands on this? So as I normally do on a busy Wednesday morning, go down to the Costco parking lot and see if anybody left items in their cart. And uh, lucky me, this pub mix was sitting right at the bottom of one. And I thought to myself, well, that looks highly nutritious and dense, calorically speaking. Hope the sodium's not too high. That can cause health problems. I also found a 96 pack of diapers. Yeah, that's a different episode. I did take them. I mean, when you're living out of your car, you know, you come across an item like that, you know it has some, some sort of resale value. Or maybe I'll just find someone in need of diapers. Let's pop it open. Ah, yes. All sorts of good stuff in here. Contains wheat, milk, soy, and sesame. So, I know a lot of people who would die if they ate this. I like that they say uh, nutrition information on the back of the container, as if there is nutrition here. There isn't. But that's not why you're getting this. Everyone knows the reason you're getting this is this little guy. Yeah, that's right, the rye cracker. Best thing in the whole batch. And this is what you're saving till the end. If you're smart, you eat the dip pretzels first. These are the worst. Pretzels are dumb. They're dumb. The only reason they get put in pub mixes is to get rid of them, because there's warehouses full of them. How do we get rid of this shit? Put it with other things that people actually like. That way we can get rid of it. You pretzels. I don't want to trigger anyone here, but uh, if you're eating pretzels, you're a moron. Let's do what I do and start with the pretzel so I can get it out of the way. It's just dumb. Tastes like overcooked toast. Who would be enjoying this? I think the loudmouth asshole at the pub. He's the one enjoying the pretzels, the one who won't shut up. Keeps hitting on women half his age. Hey, man. No more pretzels and no more hitting on college juniors. Why are you explaining to those nice young ladies how to change a tire or how you used to record shows on your VHS tapes? They don't give a fuck. Have some dignity and eat this little rice puff square. No. Crunchier, more bland flavor, and has, you know, the pub mix cheesy goodness still kind of layered around it. I'm saving you. But as much as I can say about that, who's eating that? And the person who's uh, too intimidated to try to get the bartender to come over and give them a drink. They don't really want to push past people, so they're just going to keep watching the bartender. Hopefully they get noticed. Bartender's looking right through them, like looking through freshly cleaned glass. Then move on to the next. Yeah, a little cheddar twisty. Yeah, that's right. It's like a breadstick covered in their little pub mix. Fantastic. The crunch, it's like a high quality cracker, not overpowering any flavor. Really nice mix up right in the middle of everything you're, you're enjoying with the pub mix. Definitely more of a poor man's Cheeto, but that's not the worst place to be. Person eating this came to that bar specifically to watch sports and do nothing else. But he's also gonna be cool if you puke in his car. He's been there before. Just help him clean it up. We all love that guy. Unless his team starts losing. Then things get dark pretty quickly. Next. The second best in the whole batch, the sesame seed cracker. Mmm. That sweet toastiness that they throw right in the middle there. You're having your party mix. The pretzels, a little rice cracker, a little breadstick, and suddenly this sweet, rich, toasty, nutty flavor comes exploding in your mouth. Thanks, sesame seed cracker. Just what I needed to break up all this salt flavor. Who'd be eating that? You know, someone who wants to pick up the vibe in the bar a little bit. Sees that it's at a certain low key frequency, goes to the jukebox, puts on some Hall and Oats. That place is bumping in no time. Wow, that's just the curveball we needed to enjoy this pub. Yes, did Pretzel Guy start hitting on more young women after that song came on? He did indeed. But still, the mood in the pub was a little bit better. Bringing us to the champ. Undisputed king of the pub mix, the Rye Cracker.
Huge crunch. Huge flavor. The rye. Adding this deep nuttiness to it. Rounds out the whole meal to make this pub mix an exquisite party. And who would be eating that tasty morsel? The hot bartender. Their gender? Unimportant. They're hot. <laughs> yeah, real hot. Why even have all the others? I mean, just, just put the rye in there with maybe the occasional little sesame thing in there. Kind of mix it up. Mm. So good. So cool. I feel so sexy. And then, ooh, I just kicked this party up a little bit. It's a little bit better now that I've had that sesame cracker. Just give you a billion dollar idea. Get rid of the pretzels. Probably don't even need those rice cracker puffs. To be honest, the breadsticks and the other ones, don't need those either. Just a canister full of the rye crackers, a little bit of sprinkle of sesame crackers right in there with it. Those would be flying off the shelf. I don't know how I'll be feeling after I eat this for three straight days, but uh, history suggests I won't need to find a public restroom. <laughs> It'll be constipated. All right, so to recap, if you're eating the pretzel stick, stop hitting on people half your age, you're being creepy and weird. Secondly, if you're eating the rice puff cracker, speak up for yourself. Nobody notices you, and that's on you. Eating the twisty bread stick? Look, just take your sports in moderation, all right? Just relax with it. Enjoy it when you can, let it go when it doesn't go your way. You will be more fun to hang out with. The amount of minutia you know about sports is yes, incredibly impressive, but maybe you could use that in other areas of life, like remembering your spouse's birthday. But you know Mark McGuire's batting average in 1997, don't you? Sesame person, hey, keep doing what you're doing. I love you. But maybe this is the year where you can focus all that passion and charisma, really make something of yourself. And Rye, I love you and I'm in love with you. And I want you in my life for as long as I'm alive. And if this episode wasn't for you, it's all right. I'll drink some shitty booze next time, I promise. They're out there. I'll find them. They can't escape these little rat fingers. <laughs>